Welcome. I am pleased to share with you the declaration from our distinguished group of parliamentarians. Before I do, I want to add a couple statements why this declaration is so important. Social science tells us in today's economic times, when we are worried about jobs and poverty, that if children make just three choices, three life choices, they will statistically never end up in poverty. 95% of the time, never end up in poverty. One, one choice, graduating high school, secondary school. Not university, not technical degree, just high school. Second choice, getting married. Getting married uh, solves 80% of the poverty problem. So in this order, if they graduate school, get married, and have children, the third life choice, 93% of the time, they will never end up in poverty. And what are we doing today to, to teach our children these values? The statistics say the average parent, where both parents are forced to work, is only spending 19 minutes per week with their child to pass these values on. 19 minutes. So we, as a group uh, of parliamentarians and civil society representatives, share with you this declaration from Madrid, Spain, on May 25th, 2012. We, parliamentarians and representatives of civil society, meeting in Madrid, Spain, on May 25th, 2012, reaffirm the Article 16 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which declares that the family is the natural and fundamental group unit of society and is entitled to protection by society and the state. We also recall the other passages of the Universal Declaration, which affirm the right to life, Article 3, the right of men and women to marry and form a family, Article 16, the right to, to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion, contained in Article 18, and the right of parents to educate their children, parents. That's in Article 26. We further acknowledge that the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights reinforce these principles from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and give them internationally binding legal force. On this foundation, we define the natural family as the as the union of a man and a woman through marriage for sharing love and joy, propagating children, providing their moral education, building a vital home economy, offering security in times of trouble like these, and binding the generations. We pledge to coordinate our efforts to promote and defend the natural family in national, European, and international assemblies. In particular, we shall seek public policies that rest upon these following principles. First, sexuality exists for the expression of love between husband and wife and for the procreation of children within the covenant of marriage. Secondly, good government protects and supports the natural family and does not usurp the vital roles that the family plays in society. Parents possess the primary authority and responsibility to direct the upbringing and education of their children. And the fourth and final point, large families created through marriage are to be welcomed and are special gifts to their national communities. In these ways, we shall strive to form a culture of life, not death, a culture of life that shall secure the future of healthy human societies for all of the world's people and civilizations. Thank you.